Hey, what do you notice about this expression as far as the, the numbers go? It's pointing toward the, the smaller number, that's true. Always will. But do you notice they're out of place? I mean, the smaller number is usually on the left instead of on the right. That's, that's correct. It's still everything between 3 and negative 9, but don't put them in that order, all right? Don't put them in that order. It's going to look kind of funny. So I can imagine just switching the whole thing over like that, just turn it over. Negative 9 is less than X. It's less than X. That's the same thing. But this has the numbers in their correct positioning on the number line. So it's everything between 9 and negative, uh, negative 9 and 3, including 3. So let's uh, think about your graph that. Uh, which one is that? Uh, parentheses. This guy right here? Oh, um, yeah. All right, so we need parentheses on the negative 9. Satisfying. See that tape With my limited artistic efforts. Uh, Y'all can handle that, right? What are you going to do first? Multiply everything by four. Multiply everything by four, then it's going to look pretty normal. Uh oh, actually, value is less than seven. Can you tell me what it's going to be? Interval or out? Interval, what are going to be the uh, extremes of it, the bounds of it? Negative 7, 7. Parentheses or brackets? Parentheses and negative 7. Oh, how does it? Choose your answer up there. Oh. Thank you for sparing me the embarrassment of a red X. Hey, absolute value is greater than or equal to 7. Interval or outerval? Outerval. Outerval. <laughs> the first inequality statement is going to be what? Yeah, it's going to look just like that except without the absolute value. X is greater than or equal to 7, just like this guy. Mm -hmm. The next one's going to be X is less than, less than or equal to, less than or equal to negative 7. Change the inequality, change the sign of your number, that's our So it's negative 7, 7. Hey, let's try this one, all right? <clears throat> I'll think this is a curve. Quality, right? Less than, absolute value is less than. So this goes in between.
absolute value of something is less than negative none. Good question. Is that possible? No. No. Will the absolute value ever be negative? No. 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 And notice what happens if I try to follow the steps, I get a nonsense statement. Watch this. It goes in between negative 9 and its opposite. Arrows are pointing toward the, uh-oh. Arrows are supposed to be pointing toward the smaller number, right? That's when I realized I got problems, and I better think instead of just trying to do some computation. Absolute value is less than a negative number. That means it's going to be negative. But absolute value will never be negative. So what's my conclusion? No solution. No solution. Nothing works. No solution. Let's see if there's a way to say that. Oh, I guess so. No solution. Do you have to sketch no solution? Yeah. Oh, oh look at that. No solution. Do you see that? I see. Ooh. <laughs> Rejected or <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So general statement, ladies and gentlemen, you get the absolute value of something is less than a negative number, always no solution. That's great, I think you can handle that. statements then multiply everything by three. What are you going to do first here? Add eight. Yeah. See, this is kind of sneaky. <coughs> Here's why it's kind of sneaky. Uh, absolute value is uh, less than negative five. Uh-oh, no solution. Uh, not quite. Because when I move that eight. eight over, it's actually it less than to positive. positive three. So I will have a solution. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of sneaky to start with. But after you move the 8 over, it's pretty typical. That's it. Sitting inside. Nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we will do the last section uh, concepts on Tuesday as well as review. I'll email you your questions to get ready for us.